Hello and good afternoon to you and good morning to you, Brenda and Kentucky First One in on Facebook. Welcome along. Um, hi, Grace and Anne and Margaret. Hello. I'm very good, thank you. A little bit warm. Not complaining, just started to rain outside. It's going to be thunderous, I'm reckoning. Hello, Jean. Hello, Jill, Rebecca and Tina and Solveig. Hello, and Abby in the West Midlands and Anne-Marie and Geraldine and Tina and Dorothy. And, oh, we could do this for an hour. So I hope you're all OK. Um, Harry and Marilyn and Sue and Amanda and Tracy and Sham. Sham and Sham. Um, not going to do any sewing today, but um, I've got, as you, you might see from the set around, with some Christmas stuff to show. People seem to do Christmas in June, so I thought, we could do Christmas in June. Actually, we've just had some really nice um, Liberty Christmas fabrics arrive just this morning, so we thought, why not? Why not do a little bit of Christmas? Um, oh, thank you, Elizabeth. Can't breathe in. Oh, the Canadian fires. Oh, gosh, no, I hope you're okay. Hope you're okay. Can you hear ducks? We've got the local ducks just arrived on the pond. And um, Bobbin, Bobbin wants to play, so there's a lot of quacking going on out there. Very hot in France, says Julie Jones. Oh, hello, Christine. Jill, hello to you. And Anne in Portland in Dorset. Lovely. Oh, welcome back, Linda. I'm on the, I'm on the TV. I'm a widescreen. Don't look too closely at the wrinkles. Hi, Rita. Even movies are doing Christmas. Are they? Are they? Wow. I, I never... Um, oh, hello, Francoise in, in, in France. Um... I was never a fan of Christmas in June or July, but you know it kind of makes sense that you can get bargains and 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 get hold of stuff in time to start making stuff for Christmas. So why not? Um, Alison's got a new sewing machine. Lovely. Hello, Anna. Hello, Susan in Rainy Bolton. Yeah, just just started spitting a little bit here, but it doesn't look. You know, you can feel when you can have a storm. I'm feeling stormy. A bit like that here, Judy. Um, oh, thank you very much. So in Marks and Spencers, don't you know? Oh, yes. Um, hello, Jean Jones. Oh, we were on both. Uh, a bit off on YouTube. I'm a f I'm <coughs> oh, gosh, too, excuse me. Jackie says I'm fuzzy on YouTube. Oh, dear. Um, hello, Faye in Fort Worth in Texas. Hello, Teresa. Uh, the set piano is gorgeous. Oh, oh, I th thank you, Jean. We're a little bit late today by four minutes because um, Gary nipped out to Sainsbury's and it, it does it does like to set the set to dress the set so that's why we're a little bit late as so I just got back um, oh Patricia I'm glad you like it thank you I'm perfect in New York apparently thank you Rita I think she means the output but I'm taking it as a compliment um, I don't like rom-coms unless Christmas is involved oh Janet yeah I like I like a bit of Christmas stuff it has been busy Laura. it has been busy and uh, there you are, couldn't find you. And I was early. <laughs> well, you're here, Sylv Sparkly. You're here anyway. Um, it does do a good job, I'm right. And that, that is his job. So, he's, yeah, he, w he wouldn't have the job if he wasn't good at his job. Now, we do have um, the winter woodland panels in stock. This is actually the quilt that I made out of the panel, but you can see the size of the panel from the quilt there. Um, so this is literally put onto some backing fabric. Now when we launched this on Create and Craft last week, um, it came with some sky blue fabric. We don't, we, we haven't bundled it together with the fabric this time, it's a bit cheaper. Um, so you provide your own fabric on the back, the sky blue is ideal and it's extra wide if you wanted to go for that. And then I've just used some of the denim blue, denim blue? Can't remember. Um, the, the blue bias binding that we have on the website as well and all I've done with that is you can probably see from the back I've just sewn around the squares and the rectangles so it's not pieced together although it looks like it is so that is the very simplest thing that you can do with the whole thing put some wadding in the middle back in fabric on bit of 505 spray to hold it in place binding around the edge and you've got an instant quilt that looks like you patched work it, patchworked it yourself however Sheen has made a beautiful bag over there um, using different coloured fabric that was that was her own and I think that goes really well as well so that's quite a neutral fabric and the cushion cover at the back is Sheena's as well using the sky and then the little bag with the fox song Janice made that so you don't have to make a quilt with it if you don't want to make a quilt oh Kirsty's got her new fabrics from Crate and Craft oh good I'm glad you like them hello Brenda in Ontario in Canada Daryl's caught me just right just right 
Um, hello, Sandra. I think Craig and Craft have an ordering problem. I ordered your hedgehog panel last week and ended up with a fo oh, and end hang on a minute, and end oh, where are you gone? Uh, ended up with a fox pond shaft the day before that. I ordered two purse clasps, and my order details that I showed. To, oh, they weren't from me, though, weren't they? <laughs> I don't, I don't do purse clasps and, and tassels for them. Um, which are a different order number, but the fox pond is really nice, so it can stay. Oh, no, if, I mean, Sandra, if anything like that happens, then if you want to swap it, get in touch with me. It's going to be a lot quicker than Crate and Craft. So if you do want to, to swap um, the, hedge, uh, the fox for a hedgehog, then just drop me an email. Um, details are on my website, debbieshawsewing.com, and I'll just send it back and I'll send you another one. If you're happy to keep the, uh, keep the fox, that's absolutely fine, but... Um, it's going to be a lot quicker just getting in touch with me than it is to go through Crate and Craft. Just FYI, just in case. Uh, did I say, oh no, Colette. Well, hopefully, took my sister a year and um, is off medication. So hopefully that's going to be your journey. So give it 12 months, not going to be pleasant. And hopefully in 12 months time, it's going to be fine. But we're, we're, all, we're all thinking about you. It, it must be awful, we're thinking about you. Um, everything crossed for you. Overcast, it is here, Lynn. It's, it's just wait, waiting to chuck it down. Waiting to chuck it down. Uh, my dog loves things that fly. He thinks he can play with them. Yeah, Janet, she doesn't... Well, she kind of does chase the birds. She walks very quickly behind the chickens when she wants to play. So it's not. she's not chasing them off. She's just really excited. Let's play. But... Um, yeah, they're, uh, th th then they're not so playful. <laughs> um, hello, Sylvia. So, a few things. Oh, also, we have the gingerbread panels, which, again, we launched on Create and Craft on Sunday. Those came to you with the Cassia Yellow. This time, we've put it together with a mustard-coloured gingham, which we do have on the website on its own as well. Just thought it looked really nice. And the cushion behind me here, that one was made with a gingham it, it works really well so if you haven't seen it before this is the panel I did show you before the show last week but we've only got these on the website today um, they've just come in stock for us so there's six big squares I think the 37 centimeter square each can't remember offhand but they're big um, with the borders around them I use and I'm switching from centimetres to inches, but that, that's what happens in my mind. I've put three inch borders around each one of those, and that will then fit an 18 inch cushion cover. So they're quite big. So no instructions or anything with it. So six of the big squares, and then 16 of the little ones. So four little ones are the same size as one big one. So you can make more cushion covers using four of those, but I'm thinking, um, placemats and gift bags and coasters and I don't know decorations applique pieces drawstring bags tote bags you could patchwork all of those together oh that would look nice you could just put a, a sashing in between all of them and make a really big long table runner you know those of you that get the wallpapering table out at Christmas because you've got so many people around then you could just make one huge um what's it table runner and then maybe separate them by just using a couple of those so one big house two small squares big house two small squares uh, i think that would be very nice as well is it it is am i am i flushing things thank you rita <laughs> oh dear no no i didn't lose it laura i'm being i'm being a little bit brazen there now is that something that i've got to go back and edit was I embarrassing myself there? So that's that. Let me show you from this way. <laughs> right. Um, oh, upside down. Let me turn that around. There we go. There. I'm not going light and dark in here, Morag, so I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of okay here. The sun's not coming in and out and we're, we're quite steady. So those are the smaller ones. They're the same as the bigger ones. Kim, Kim's actually put these together. Um, and then in the busy boxes, there's just lots and lots of, um, of the smaller houses. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> We're all right then. A quick flash is fine, isn't it? 
I know it's a bit early for that, maybe, Syl. Maybe that's the, uh, the after nine o'clock at night show. Um, so these are my watercolour paintings. Um, and I love doing that. I th just think it's loads of fun doing things like this. So they're all made up. They're not anybody's houses that people live in or anything. So we've got gingerbread biscuit trees and candy canes and ice and sugar and Smarties and all kinds of sweeties all over those. And this is it with the, the check. So that they come together, you get half a metre of this one, it's 140 wide, and then you've got all of those as well. I could sew the buttonholes to make them a bit smaller, that maker. Or I could just complain to Marks and Spencer that they're ruining my career. I might get compensation. Hello, Joy in Cardiff. Um, oh, hello, Morag. Accessory connected. I don't know what that means. Um, and hello, David. Hello, David. Morag's husband watches every Wednesday. Welcome along. <laughs> Do you sew, David? That's my, my eldest son's name. Right, so that's that one. So I haven't got the actual panel from the Winter Woodland because I left it down in the house. I left it, I forgot it. I forgot it. Okay, so that's that. Uh, how do you get your artwork made to fabrics? Faye, they, um, we use a fabric printing company in the UK. So I draw these. Um, Kim puts them into, well, she's, she's actually put all the little sparkly backgrounds on. So I didn't do the snowflakes. That's a background that Kim's put on. And then she, she uses some software and then she puts all of these together and then we send the files over to the fabric printers and they print it on fabric. That's the way that it works. But because it's kind of all printed to order and it's printed in the UK and we don't have these mass produced in you know, thousands of meters, it does tend to be a little bit costly. But um, it just means that we can, we can bring you personal things like this um, quickly, with a quick turnaround. And it means we can order more quickly. If we're having printed in China, like some of the big manufacturers, like with um, My Name Kim's Fabrics that we have with, um, with Craft Cotton Company, um, that would be a one-off. They order thousands of metres, keeps the cost down, but that's it. Um, and if they did happen to reprint, it's like a year down the line because it, it takes that long to do it. Whereas this way we can, we can have a quick turnover with a smaller amount, almost printed to order, but it, does, it, it is very expensive to do. So anyway, um, hello, Carol in Melbourne, middle of the night. Oh, made some Liberty Print Crows. So we've got some, we have some Liberty fabrics just arrived today as well. Not on the website yet. Hi, Mary in Spain. Uh, Janet said, my son was always going to be a David. Oh, right. David was due on St. David's Day, which is why I called him David. He was late, but, you know, he was due on St. David's Day. A uh, little cell overlocker thread. Oh, OK. Didn't know you knew I had an overlocker, says Fee. Oh, they know more than you think, these chaps. Um, oh, flies. Right. We have the rattan handles back in stock again. There's a big waiting list for these. Um, I don't have the sample of the bag to show you, but it was that one, if you remember. So there's the two handles, and you've got your full instructions on how to make that bag. Of course, you can use them to make any kind of bag that you like, but that's what you're getting in the kit. And again, they are, they are back in stock again. Um, then, shall we do Christmas? Let's do Christmas, let's do Christmas. This is Lewis and Irene Bunting. Now, unless everything sells out like today, it's unlikely we're going to be able to get these back again. Um, and in fact, I'm not, I'm not sure if it could that tends to happen with Lewis and Irene. Hopefully, because I mean, Christmas is a way off yet. Um, it's a half a metre panel, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixteen pennants. And then a little border of stars down the side just to fill the gaps in that you could use maybe around the top of um, gift bags and things like that. And it's quite nice because this is actually foiled. I've got it upside down again, haven't I? Oh no, they're, they're both ways. So the gold bits, they're not too sparkly shiny, 
but there is a little bit of foiling on those as well, like on the um, on that one. Don't know what it is, and on the holly there as well. Um, <laughs> Leslie, oh, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. I've got my reputation to think of, you know. Um, so that's the first one. And again, Lewis and I, this, is, this isn't the kind of bunting that you dispose of after the festive season. It is beautiful fabric. If you have a look on the website, we, we've got the Christmas shop um, on the banner at the top of the page. But otherwise, if you go to New Arrivals, you'll see a lot of stuff on there that I haven't got time to show you here, which is new. Um, all right, that's that. these. can't remember what they're all called. I said they've only gone on today. But this is another Lewis and Irene. And again with a really delicate foiling. It's so pretty. It's just the centre of the flowers. Well, it's all the gold bits again. Look. Little, little tiny dots on the Christmas tree. Look. And the quality of the fabric is just, it's just beautiful. It's so soft. It's lovely to work with. And lovely to wear actually. That would make a really nice Christmas shirt or blouse, wouldn't it? So we've got a bit of a collection going on. Look at that one. Really traditional as well, this one. Bright Christmas or pillar box red with the gold stars on it. Gorgeous. And staying traditional, we've got the poinsettias. And you know what I love? Lewis and Irene's um, selvages. What have we got on that one? Oh, it's all the holly leaves, look. So pretty. So if you look, <laughs> Syl says, I like the sparkly bits, I does. Um, if you're lucky enough to get the whole row of the holly leaves, even, even that's foiled look on the selvage. So if you're lucky enough to get the whole row of that, then just hang on to it. Even if you don't know what to do with it, then just hang on to it. Because um, it'll come in very handy for something or other. Oh, oh, now then, now then, now, now then, let me show you. Something a little bit special. Um, Kim's just made, oh no it wasn't, it was this one. Um, as soon as this fabric arrived, I didn't realise that it's brushed. And because uh, I, I, I saw the bolts and I saw her cutting bits off to photograph for the website. And, and she said that would be amazing on the back of this quilt because it's a brushed cotton. It's Lewis and Irene again. This is so soft. Honestly, I, I just wish you could reach through your TV and go, oh, and I say, it, it's, um, it's like Wincyette. It's, it, it's, it's so soft. So for, um, for quilts and for um, cuddle cushions and things like that, it's just, oh. One day, when we have open days in our new place, you'll come in and you'll feel this and you go, oh, she was right. She was right with that one. And we've got two. Uh, in fact, we've got three. But that, yes, that on the back of that quilt would be amazing. Brush cotton always reminds me of bedtime when I was a child. It just takes me back in time because my nightie was made out of this and the sheets were brush cotton. It was just really, really comfy. Um, it was that with COVID for four days, for goodness sake. Helen, oh, I hope you get better soon. Hopefully it's a, it's a mild one. Um, the art style of water she done does a little bit, Alice, doesn't it? Oh, June says it's really raining there now. Oh, dear. Um, the third one, I forgot, yeah, just the third one, this one, look. Um, tell you what would be really nice with these as well, um, like with the flannel. You know how you do the, um, the raggy quilts? You don't even have to sew those, you can knot them. Um, that would be really nice with this. Or the back of a cushion, or a, a cushion, just something that it's, it's so cuddly. I, I mean, you can't stop stroking it, it is so cuddly. Um, I love, love all the detail on it as well. The little owl. Can't see that little owl. You can see that little owl. It's beautiful. And the dandelions and no, they're not dandelions. They're too big for dandelions, aren't they? But you've got the little fox there and the rabbit and the deer. They're lovely. But I love the colours on them as well. Good, just. 
good, just... Uh, right, let's pop those away. I was just thinking if we've got some matching fabrics to go with these. We've got so many planes. Um, we have been out of stock. You know the making believe plain fabrics that we do that um, are the organic ones. We, we sell out of them so quickly. We've just had a delivery. Um, so if they're not back in stock at the moment, I'm sure Kim's going to be busy um, shortly putting them all back in stock again. Hello, Carrie in northern Minnesota. Keep trying to add the woodland fabric and it's not going into the basket. We can't have sold out already. Um, I'll have a check when I've when I've come off air, Denise. Keep trying, because I, I don't see what a problem there would be there, unless you're ordering, you know, hundreds of meters. Um, I, I, I don't know what the problem would be. So keep tr keep trying, and I'll have a look when um, when I finish here. I don't know what I can do, but I, I shall have a look. A child's reading cushion would be. Let's see, can't stop striking it. Um, Sarah's alert. Oh, hello, Sarah. All is very good at Short House. Thank you very much. We're stroking fabric, Sarah. Um, oh, hi, Lisa. Oh, you're right. You're right, mate. Um, have you something pre ordered in your bay? That's a thought, Janet, because pre orders can only be ordered on their own. It's not sold out, just not showing in my basket. Okay, I'll, I'll check it when I've finished. Have you got traffic in your backyard? I don't know what that means. Does that does that mean something, Helen? Because we haven't got traffic in the backyard. I, I, I think something's gone over my head there, hasn't it? You need to explain that one. Hello, Dominica. Um, right, right. So, th so soft. We're staying with our Christmas theme. <gasps> so these aren't Lewis and Irene. These are in new texts. But look, we've got dogs and post boxes. So these are Susan Wheeler designs. And again, quality is lovely. The little robins. Oh, oh, look at them. I wonder if they're, they're posting their letters to Santa Claus. You, you, you never know. Dogs can do anything in cartoons, can't they? Um, oh, good, Denise. I'm glad you sorted. Oh. That explains it then. And we have gnomes, all the same artist. And then, oops, there's the, um, the rabbits there as well. There. I have got my fan on. Yes, it's really it's really hot down here, Jackie. So sorry if it's noisy. If you wondered what the noise was, it's it's really quiet actually. But um, obviously you can hear it. And unless I, am I wafting? That's not, that's not on that strong. So yeah, it's it's not nice out at all. But it's still really warm, isn't it? It's still really warm. Hmm. I can't show you that it's nailed to the wall. I do have a Christmas fabric range coming out, but I don't know when. I don't know when. It's nice, isn't it? The gnome fabric. I love all the detail on it as well, Lisa. He's got little um, holly on his hat, um, and the the different coloured stripes on there. I was now I was hoping to be able to show you my gnome book today. Little bit miffed, just a little bit miffed. Had an email first thing this morning from the buyer at Craig and Craft saying, "Oh, I've just got my copy top, copy of your gnome book, and I think it's amazing, and I can't wait to launch it." And I thought. I haven't got a copy of my gnome book. So I was hoping that the postman would bring it today. Need to have words with that there search press. Maybe stamp my feet a little bit and be a diva. My book. Should get it first. Anyway, anyway. Um, muggy in court. Muggy sums it up, Jan. Muggy. Yes, they're all cotton. Everything I've shown you, Julie, is cotton. Um, actually, that would have I got a red. Oh, that goes nicely, look. You know, I like to match my fabrics. Um, the gnome, uh, if that sells out, if it's really popular, we can get hold of some more. This one is the uh, burnt orange, make and believe, but it matches really well with that one. And we do have loads of piping 
so if you're making cushion covers then the red look that goes really well doesn't it love doing this not that one that doesn't quite go no just just the red just the red in the piping we also have bias binding coming back in stock oh this should be arriving tomorrow um, so we're out of stock of the red at the moment. We have more red coming back in stock tomorrow and that goes really well. The green is going to be back, the yellow is going to be back and I think the navy is going to be back in stock as well. So, yes, they are gorgeous. And do you know, I, they're wintry. They're wintry, aren't they? This, that, that one's Christmassy because it's got Christmas trees, I think, with a light on top. But the gnome, I'd say, was just more winter because they're just tree. Oh, mind you, it's got presents on it. But you wouldn't put them away, would you? You wouldn't put them away after. So that's, that's Christmas. <coughs> Gosh, excuse me. Post there is often after five. No, it's already been, Claire. It's already been, and I strip searched him, and there was no known book. So I sent him on his way. <laughs> Love this one. I've actually made a, um, a sample of a brush roll for. Did I tell you that my half yard? I might have mentioned my half yard heaven book is coming up to its 10th um, anniversary, 100,000th sale. So we're re releasing it, and I've remade some of the projects in it. And this is the. Um, the pairing of fabric that I've chosen to make a, a brush roll. So I made the main part, the bit that folds over out of the plain one because it needed to be uh, non-directional and then the pocket across the front I've made with the with the birds. So this again is another Susan Wheeler fabric collection. Oh actually that goes nice with mine. Look. That matches doesn't it? That's, that looks really nice there. Oh thought about putting those together. Let me have a look at that one. Yeah. That goes really nicely with mine as well. I'll show you those in a minute. Um, lovely for gift bags, Elizabeth. They're lovely. I love the detail on them. And the colours as well. The colours that I've chosen are just beautiful. Um, and if you wanted a plane to go with that, I was having a, a plane earlier. Whoops. It's knocking everything over. I brought this one down. I can't remember what colour it's called. Let me see if I've written on it. We've got so many planes now and I haven't written on it. Oh, well, that was a silly thing to do. Um, but things like this one. So just bear with me a sec. I've got a huge pile of fabric at the side of me here. This one is the magenta. And that is, I have written on that one, the Rose and Hubble. Rose and Hubble magenta, just the same colour as the bird wing there. So that would look gorgeous, you know, kind of in between the two pieces. That would look lovely. Because you need a plane. Have you noticed, Sarah, we've got new fabric? Have you noticed that? We've got tons of it, tons of it. Um, but we do, actually. <laughs> There's two more, like, Cratefuls of fabric just waiting to be um, photographed and put onto the website. So, oh, I'm not going to be here on Saturday, by the way. I just want to remind you. So, it'll be next Wednesday before I can show you anything new. Um, I've got it's the Search Press annual party on Friday night, and uh, I like to go, so I'm staying over. So, I'm not going to be back in time. And hopefully, on Saturday afternoon, if things move along a lot quicker than they are at the moment should be keep picking up our um, keys for our new place can't wait to show you um, hello Susan hello Linda good afternoon to you um, my days is getting giddy <laughs> I get like that every time we have a delivery every time um, what else we got we have these have only gone on today the um, the 10 inch squares of my countryside wart fabric. So let's just rearrange these. We put these on the website and they started selling straight away. So thank you for that. I'm glad you like them. So there are two 10 inch squares from each one of the 10 piece collection. That looks nice with that, doesn't it? The magenta that is, that goes really well. And these are they. 
that's lovely like those together um, with this one it happens to be exactly a match for the light taupe from um, make and believe the organic one but I haven't got a piece here to show you but it's exactly the same color as the background on there and then two of those and there will be two foxes and those go really well hang on a minute that's the the um the cassia yellow extra wide perfect with the foxes it looks gorgeous and then we've got ferns on white we've got ferns on the dark green and again there's two ten, ten inch squares of each of those and the animals there and then two of the so I'm taking through all of these you've probably seen them a hundred times no Lisa I will not be plastered I just don't fancy driving home it's a four hour drive at that time of night so that's why I'm staying and um, that one's rambling and that's the the woodland walk so it's all of those and we do have things like the garden green which is that one perfect if you wanted a paler green that's a rose and herbal khaki we've got loads and loads of greens on the website that match perfectly this one is an organic moss doesn't sound like a fabric does it organic moss and this one is a rose and hubble moss it's a slightly different color green as you can see i think i showed you these the other day didn't i and that's just a light green homespun but they, they, all, they all go really um, it's some of my publishers, Lisa, so it's really, I don't get to see them that often because it's so far away, so it's really nice to, well, it's nice to be invited to the party, to be honest, there's not usually any other authors there, so it's, that, that's going to be really nice. Um, but it's nice to catch up with people and, and, you know, talk to my editor and the, um, the Half Yard Club team are all going to be there and everything, so yeah, that'll, that'd be nice. Um, Linda loves the green. Um, I hope you have. <laughs> no, Laura's probably humming that under her breath, Sarah, at the moment. Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to be here on Saturday because of that. So I'll be here next Wednesday. And I think I said the other day I'm not here on the 8th, but I am. Um, it'll be the week after that I'm not going to be here because that's when I'm going away for the weekend with Kim. So um, if you have a look on my Facebook page, on the Half Yard Club Facebook page, there is a like a, a, a list of dates, my tour dates, if you like, and the dates that I'm on Create and Craft are on there as well. Because Kim's Fabric Range, the strawberry picking, is launching, I think it's on the 27th. And then we've got some more new fabric panels that are printed in the UK, the ones that we get designed on the 29th and 30th, I think. I think, off the top of my head. Um, Debbie's waiting patiently for a big pink parcel. Have you had a notification of that today? I think it's going out Friday with FedEx. Um, I'm glad you like it then. Or is that Lee? Is that the other way around? Um, send a limo for us. She makes a fortune for search press. <laughs> I wish, Mary. That would be very nice. I could sleep all the way there. Uh, to that too, I have my grandma's pink in do we sell the fabric glue pen on the website? Yes, we do. Um, if you, yeah, just put fabric glue pen on, I'm sure they're in stock. We do, yeah, we do sell it. Um, oh, thank you, Patricia. Yeah, birthday on Tuesday. Does, does things go quickly, like life, when you get to a certain age? I said to Gary when we were just setting up down here, I said, today has gone like that. I, I, was, I was weeding the garden at, um, at five o'clock this morning, went to let the chickens out. I thought, oh, while I'm here. Um, and I've got loads done and it's still just flown by and I'm, I'm still thinking, I've still got loads to do. What's happening? Coffee, my darling. I would love a coffee, thank you. Um, are you on YouTube? 
I am on YouTube, yes. Oh, I can't find you. Yeah, I'm definitely there. Hello? You just asked Jane and Lisa and, and Patricia and, and Carol and you uh, get all there. Okay. And in fact, we've got 306 people watching on YouTube. Really? Thank Can you. I join them? <laughs> <laughs> Are you under a different name? No, I'm not a, I'm not a pseudonym. <laughs> well, what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so watch it on Facebook. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Um, coffee with Baileys for Sylv. Coming up. <laughs> oh, hot. Uh, Lisa wants cake. He wouldn't eat cake, doesn't eat anything sweet. Um, but so we'll be able to get more of your Christmas fabric if it sells out. Of the Christmas fabric that I've shown you today, um, yes, I think so. D definitely the... Um, What have I done with it? The gnomes one, that collection. Um, these ones, definitely these ones. I'm not sure about the Lewis and Irene's ones. Um, I hope so because they've only arrived today. So I'm hoping they haven't sold out of their stock, but they, they do tend to, or they sell out of favorite ones. So they've only got half a collection left. Um, is France not in delivery yet? Um, Cornwall Friends coming over in July. Not yet, Julie. I can try every. They have been pretty good, every, to be honest, with internationals. They take a couple of weeks, but they have been pretty good. Better than Royal Mail have been. Yes, I sent out a, a parcel to Helen in Dublin on the 12th of May, and it's just come back to me today. No reason, really. No reason. Your mouse, Lisa, is um, hiding... Yeah, she's there. She's there, definitely there. Uh, singing up for... Oh, Valerie, fancy you remembering that. Do you know, it's taken years, honestly. We have the, uh, we have the patterns now, already made up. We need to get them printed and then make them up and write up instructions and then have them mass produced. It's taken ages and it's not anybody's fault, but probably mine because I've just been busy doing other things. And then, you know, right in the middle of... Um, getting all of the patterns and everything organised, we start working with Crate and Craft, so double my workload. So it's just, yeah, getting around. Kim said the other day, we really should do something with those patterns, you know. I know, but they're not going to date. They're not the kind of things that are going to date. So, we, yes, we must do that. Um, hiding in the back of a drawer. It's in the tree. It's in the tree. The Robin panels in store. Can do, Susan. Which ones? Do, there's the robins, the, the robins on the bobbins, which I'm looking around my little studio here and I don't seem to have here. And then there's the Christmas robins. Um, so which ones were you interested in? Because, yes, we can get more of those because we get those printed. thought I've got everything down here that I bought back from Crate and Craft, but obviously, obviously not. Dressmaking patterns, Deirdre. We designed some dressmaking patterns. There's um, a jumpsuit and a dress with... Um, a wide elasticated neckline, there's a skirt and a blouse with tiny, tiny pink tucks all over it. They're, they're really lovely, but um, yes, they're just sitting on the shelf at the moment. It's been put to one side, the Christmas fabric you made. Um, the gingerbread one, or the fabric range that, or the ones that haven't come out yet. The gingerbread ones, yes, we've got loads of those. Um, my fabrics, I don't know when they're coming out yet. I'm looking at an advent card. Do you want to see? Have a look at my beautiful fabric for just a second while I go and rip this off the wall. Bear with me just a second. I shan't be a second because that's been photographed. But you get an idea of what it will look like. I've just no idea when it's coming out. That's it, look. Um, so that's the advent calendar. Then there will be a set of five um, Christmas fabrics as well. So there's uh, ice skating boots. There's one that's just got uh, Christmas lanterns on it. Um, and one with the snowmen. I can't remember, but there's five of them in the range altogether. 
all in these kind of colours. And this is one of those advent calendars where you fold up all of the bits. I have done instructions for it, so I'll put those on the website when it comes out. Yeah, the pre-order ones. I haven't got any pre-order Christmas fabrics. Denise, I'm confused. I haven't got pre-order Christmas. This isn't on pre-order because we don't know when we're getting it. Um, we've only got books on pre-order at the moment. Everything else is on there. Everything else is on there, Denise. Sorry, a bit confused. No, Deirdre, it's, it's not available to order yet because we don't know when we're getting it. Um, it's not on our supplier's website anymore either. It's a craft cotton one. Um, so it's not available to order. As soon as we find out when we're getting it, then I shall, yes, I will put it on pre-order. Pre -order. The one behind me, this one. That's on the website, that's, a, that's not a pre-order. And that's on the website, that's not a pre-order. So this one's on its own, that's the, um, the winter, winter woodland. And this one comes with the uh, the check fabric, but they're both on the website. But available for you to buy now. Um, oh, sorry, Sarah, talking to somebody else. Love Christmas and definitely love the look of that fabric feels. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, the gnome on the shelf. This one is Noel, and that one is um, cold with a K, because that's actually Swedish for cold with a C. See, all, all the gnomes have got names. So I'm hoping, in fact, we've got a show on Create and Craft on the 6th of August. So that's when, I think the book's actually coming in at the end of July. And I have asked if I can have, oh, hi, Nancy. Um, if I can have all of our books that I've ordered, because we, we have ordered a few hundred of them for you, um, if we can have them at the end of July. So the minute that we've got a release date for it, we can just get them out in the post. Um, it takes quite a while to put all these things together because there's, there's so many orders. Um, so I don't know what kind of offer Create and Craft are doing, um, but if you want, to, they'll be signed. There'll be some signed ones, but I'll just have my name in them. If you wanted anything personally signed or if you want to give them a, as a Christmas present to somebody and you want me to put to whoever they're going to, then the only place you'll be able to do that is on my website. So again, they're on, oh, itchy nose. They're on pre-order at the moment, the, uh, the known books. Um, if you put on the customer notes who you want it signed to, you will get a better deal if you order um, from Search Press directly using the code capital letters DD105 you get 20% off and if you're a Half Yard Club member th th there'll be no signed books if you do it that way you just get the book and if you're a Half Yard Club member there's already a link on the Half Yard Club website where you can get 30% off but again there's no um, there's no signed copies so if, you, if you're not bothered about the signature then, there's, uh, then you can get it cheaper um, and that's the same deal with the journal that's coming out can't remember. End of August, I think. Can't remember. Um, but you will get 30% discount if you're a Half Yard Club member. No, nothing signed in that, though. I uh, love the polar bear. That's a Half Yard Club project. I thought, we'd, I thought we'd bring him out because we're talking Christmas and winter. Um, oh, I'm glad you like the woodland fabrics, Karen. Thank you. Oh, hi, Jen. Could you do a wonky street with the gingerbread panel, do you think? I don't see why not. I don't see why not. You could cut them out and use them as a plique and put them at jaunty angles. Um, the polar bear is um, a half yard club project. It's still on there, isn't it, Laura? It was only last year. Um, he's huge. I also made one in a oh, he's up there in a, um, in a brown, a brown fabric. But he's all, he's all floppy and cute and, and cuddly. But he is a member. You need to be a member of the half yard club to get hold of the uh, the pattern for that one. Um, sorry, I just had a comment removed. Oh, oh what well, you had somebody removed it, Karen. Oh, that's odd. Um, tried to see the patchwork technique show last Wednesday. It was lots of fun. Oh, good sewing. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you liked it. We will do some more sewing next week, seeing as I haven't done anything today. Oh, hi, Rose. I thought it was your mum. How are you? What are you up to? Um, making it for the grandkids, but I said Patricia. Oh, lovely. 
Oh, Karen's cat's walking along the keyboard. They do that, don't they? They, they do things like that. I've got a photograph somewhere of one of my cats. My, my cats have all died now. Um, but I was, I, I was sitting there sewing and I saw this paw coming over the back of the sewing machine and she was just trying to grab hold of the fabric as it came through. It was hilarious. Um, I'm glad you like the polar wear, Blodwin. Thank you. OK, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to nip off. It's been a bit of a short one today. So sorry about that. Unless you want to have a chat about anything else. I'm not doing anything particular. Kim's making a quilt out of a new fabric. Oh, she's made the most gorgeous um, that jumpsuit that Vienna was modelling the other day. It's beautiful. Kim's fabric's going to be amazing. It, it's, it's absolutely You're going to love it. It's all strawberries. It's lovely. So, yeah, she's been making things and, uh, and photographing that today, which is really nice. Um, it is me, but she always has to say, oh, it's both of you there then, Jen, is it? <laughs> Hello to both of you. I uh, made a handbag using a patchwork technique. From oh, nice, Pam. I'm glad you like that one. Maybe we should do some more um, patchwork stuff on a Wednesday. A little bit of a technique. Somebody wants to see the cushions behind me here. So um, all I've done with it, you'd be able to make six of these with the panel. And then you've still got 16 small ones as well. It's an awful lot of fabric, isn't it? Um, so all I've done with this, I haven't mitered the corners. I put three inch strips down each side, then three inch strips top and bottom and trimmed it. And the back of it is just an envelope back. So all I've done there is hem it twice. It's the quickest, the easiest, and the most cost effective way with the fabric of making a cushion cover. Um, so, you know, if you're making these to decorate your home, maybe you just want to make lots of them and make them quick and it doesn't really matter that they're not lined or anything like that. If you're making them to sell, I would maybe line them or at least finish the seams on the inside with either a, a zigzag stitch of pink in shears or an overlocker. And I might quilt them as well. I think that would be nice. These were made in quite a hurry, I have to admit, because um, they only came in at the last minute and had a show on Crate and Craft. Good job we nearly done. Sorry, no. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I think quilting them would be nice. Just a cross hatch. I do cross hatch diamonds all over them. I think that would look really nice. Um, I love the fidget blankets on Half Yard Club. Oh, good. I'm glad you like that. Actually, Kim made those. That's her design. Um, useful and helpful in hospital care for patients with dementia. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad, glad they're useful. Uh, how much plain fabric for each cushion panel? Ooh. Uh, of that fabric, that's the cassia yellow. If you're buying the panel from us, it comes with the mustard um, gingham. And this is 140 centimetres wide. So if you're making that cushion, you could probably get two out of one piece. So it depends how many cushions you need to make. But you'll need to more than half a metre to get the length, even if you're only making one cushion cover, you'll need half a metre. So, so it depend, depends how many cushion covers you're going to make. <laughs> Do you like Noel? They, they've all got um, pellets in their bums, so they, they sit nicely. And, and with the book, basically, you've got two body shapes, and they're only like circles that they're, they're ever so easy the noses come in two sizes they're all circles and then you've got different style of arms he was actually holding a, a Christmas tree I think on the cover shot um, and they're, they're, they're quite similar um, there's different ways of doing the beard so he's got a fake fur beard and this one is actually um, piping cord which is frayed and then we do have the ladies as well we do have as many ladies as we do the gents, but they're just not very Christmassy. So, yeah, I'm glad you like him. I just think they're such characters. I love names, I love names. There's how to reattach zip pulls on the zips. Oh, was that? I was. I was, wasn't I? I was going to do that. Hang on a minute. Let me get a zip. That's it. Well, if I've got a zip, I'll, we can do it. Let's see if I've got a zip. That's on a ladder. That's going to go, isn't it? Excuse me while I rummage in my drawers. Just chat amongst yourselves for a minute while I look and see if I've got a zip. I haven't got a zip. And I wrote it down as well, didn't I? 
I did write that down. I need to write to myself in capital letters and shout at myself. I can't show you that, I'm afraid, because I haven't got a zip with me. Right, where's my notebook? I've lost my notebook, Sarah. I've lost my notebook. I do have another notebook. I think I took it down to the house so I don't forget things. Right. I know I've written it down before, but we shall do it again. Invisible zips. Sliders on zips for next Wednesday. And I'm going to leave that propped up there, so I'm not even going to shut it so I can see it. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, you sit back there again. There you go, that's Cookie the Bear. Um, Sarah says he fainted. P I know, I know, Sarah, I know. If I could afford one. Um, Kim Strawberries, Carol, we will try and get on pre-order when, again, when we've got an actual date for it coming. Um, I know we've got a show booked in at the end of July, but I don't know when we're getting the fabric, so we can put that on pre-order quite soon, actually, I think. I shall have a word with her. I'll see what she wants to do. Um, we just need samples of the fabric to photograph, basically. Um. <laughs> June gives up and putting the pulls on. Uh, a tea towel holder. What, what do you what do you use that for then? Uh, where's search press discount code? Um, Jenny, it is if you go directly to the search press website and use uh, DD one hundred five, you'll get twenty percent off. I can't remember if you're a club mem member, Jen. If you're a club member. When you go to the, the offers page, there's a whole section of books, all the pages of the books. And if you just click on the book, that will give you the discount code and it'll take you straight through to the Search Press website. Um, so you can just straight through and order there. She hasn't done it yet, Renette. Um, it's on the 16th of July, I think, is the date for it. That's, that's Beatrix, my granddaughter's fundraiser. Um, I think she's on £680 at the moment, which is fantastic considering her, her target was 50 So she's absolutely over the moon. Um, oh, hi, Diane. Hi. Um, I shall see you again next week. It won't be Saturday. It'll be next Wednesday, so I might see you there again. Janet's daughter's 50th birthday tomorrow. So a whole weekend of celebrations. Oh, how lovely. How to put the borders on the panels. I can, I can do that, Karen. Uh, what is the new half yard project? Have we had a sneak peek? It's the hats, isn't it? Um, I've shown you them. Oh no no! Oh yes yes. <laughs> so I've got, I've got them. I've got them around here somewhere. There is a child's cap. Uh, oh, you know what happens when you tidy up. There is a child's cap with a flap down the back, like a peak cap, in two sizes. You get the pattern and everything. I'm not getting close to you. I'm just looking if it's down there. Um, it's over there. OK. Just have a look at, well, have a look back there a sec. <laughs> just have a look at me pretty set while I go and get me at. Um, so again, it's in two, oh, it looks really muggy out there. It's going to rain. I can't see the um, um, the other one. But that's the child's cap. So it's got an elasticated panel at the back, so it's got a nice snug fit. You don't have to put the neck protector on there if you don't want to. You can just make it into a cap. Um, I do explain in the instructions how you can make it larger or smaller. This is the larger of two. There is a smaller version as well. And then there is an adult size peak. Uh, cap, so it hasn't got the crown on it. It's just the, like, like like the peak bit with an elasticated section at the back as well. So you've got two projects coming up on Saturday. So that's those. I know, so. Yeah, I mean, Gary comes down here quite a lot. He does it in my sewing room, and he tidies up, and it looks amazing. Can't find a thing. 
I know. Uh, blood, wind, and serve. What are you working on there? Oh, oh. Uh, did a demo on Borders and Cushions on YouTube. Did I? Oh, apparently there is a demo on YouTube. I forget what I've done. Um, Laura says on mitering borders on cushions. So that that should be worth having a look at. Um, Debbie has a video. Yes, Carol, there is a video of putting zip pulls on, isn't there? That's quite an old one. Yes, there is one on there. You can find anything on on YouTube, can't you? The squirrel bag, Diane, is lovely, isn't it? That's from the made from part of this panel, which is the winter woodland panel shown earlier on. Have a look back to the beginning. Um, so it's been designed to make a quilt, but um, Sheena made a bag with it instead. There's another animal on the other side of it as well. It's really nice. Um, Lisa, she, if you have a look on my Facebook page, she is raising money for diabetes. Um, one of her best friends has diabetes. So she wanted to raise money and she's doing a, is it a five kilogram run? Not bad for an eight year old, is it? Um, but yeah, I did, I did put a link on, um, on Facebook if you can get on there. Yes, for an adult visor, adult visor. There's only one size for that, but that's easy enough to um, adjust the size if you needed to anyway. Uh, can't join on Saturday. I'm not here, Alana, I'm not here on Saturday. You're off to Dawlish, I'm off to um, Tunbridge Wells. Oh, okay, Lisa. Okay, Grace, I shall see you next week. I know, uh, it's probably a good job he couldn't get onto YouTube. <laughs> see what I'm doing to his set. Um, right, this time I'm going, so I shall see you next Wednesday. And um, I shall be a year older next Wednesday. Because just got life's just, isn't it? Doesn't it go quick? Does it go quick? Yeah, I hate that. Um, oh, Janet, uh, oh, Janet saw, oh, Bloodwin. Oh, right, okay. The five kilogram run, yeah, doing five, five kilograms. How much extra wide do you need to cover the back of the panel? Um, 1.25 meters. You'll have some left over at the side. Um, that's how much we were giving away with them. So there will be a little bit left over, but you'd need that much to actually cover the panel. So yeah, 1.25. If you order a meter and a half, you've got plenty. Uh, just had a 60 second birthday, says Elsie. Happy birthday to you. Um, oh, thank you very much, Rita. Thank you very much. It's, it's Tuesday. Um, I should be 63. Doesn't it? it get, it's just... Don't you know, it'll be five minutes and I'll be sitting there saying I'm 73. Um, oh, thank you very much, Rita. Five kilograms. Yes, Connie. A five. Did I say kilograms? Did I say kilo honestly? Kilometre, five kilometre, not five kilo. I'm not very good with metrics. <laughs> I'd, know, I'd know what she was doing if it was a five pint run. Uh, get your granddaughter to look up the Glucose Goddess method book for her friend. And also kilogram, yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, I better go. Um, a potato June. What a lovely gift for your birthday. What a lovely gift. <laughs> yes, I know, Viv. Uh, yeah, it's, um, it didn't trip off the tongue very well, that one. Um, twice. Did I say kilograms twice? Oh, honestly, Connie. Oh, look, it's raining like mad. Better go before I get too drenched going down there. A positive potato. What on earth is a positive potato? Thank you, Jill. Hi, chris -Ann. Right, anyway, go. I shall see you again on Wednesday at 4 o'clock. So uh, do enjoy the rest of your week and your weekend. Uh, take care of yourself. Hopefully you're not going to get drenched in this torrential rain that we're expecting. Um, let's just have a look over here and just make sure this is all up to date on this side. Think we're good. A knitted potato with a positive saying. <laughs> okay, I shall see you next week. You take care. Bye-bye.